Psoas and the femoral nerve, we're gonna do them together. Then primarily for the psoas, we're really just palpating and owning where it lives and whether it's hypertonic or not, because most of the time it's gonna be femoral nerve stuff or other nerves that are there. But it's important to know if it's hypertonic and to know where it lives. So this is the front of the belly. Here is the psoas on this side. Here's iliacus. <clears throat> Here's the femoral nerve in between them. Notice how it's coming from behind here. This is the psoas removed. It's formed from the L2, L3, and L4 femoral trunks, and then it forms the femoral nerve. So to find this, we're gonna go on the lateral border of the psoas and go in this junction, and then we're gonna palpate <clears throat> starting with the medial portion, and then we're gonna palpate the lateral portion. It's more common, <clears throat> thank you, Cody. It's more common to have stuff between the psoas and femoral nerve than it is iliacus, even though it's easier on the iliacus side. The body does what the body does, not just because we find it easier to do something. <laughs> so let's get into that. One way to find the psoas is between the ASAS and umbilicus. If you split the, the distance, the psoas is gonna be right here. But I really want you to own the psoas. So we know that the psoas an iliacus comes down and goes into the lesser trochanter here. So it's gonna go from this direction to this direction underneath the ribs. So if I sink in here and I push down, this is all the lateral border of the psoas. This tissue right here, that's the psoas. So by trying to get in the groove in the posterior aspect of the psoas, I can feel it push, push down against this, these fingers. There's, this piece of meat is all flame and yon. If I just come in here and I can't find that border, that just means I'm on top of it, then I have to come more to the side and behind it in order to appreciate that. In the same vein, if I come underneath the umbilicus, sink into this space and pull up, all of this meat that I'm pulling up, this is all psoas on the other side. So I'm appreciating right between my fingers right here, this is the psoas muscle that I'm locking in between my fingers. So it's important that we own that. And midline to the umbilicus up here, this is me pulling the psoas up. He's got some entrapments in here, so it's kind of hard to do right in that spot. So this is me pulling the psoas, and this is also me locking it down. So these are the boundaries. And then if I sink onto the psoas, he doesn't have resting tone here. Got it. Good to know. Traditionally, the umbilicus is around L3. So if we come lateral to the psoas in this area and we go posterior, here's the femoral nerve and I'm gonna feel femoral trunk going down behind the psoas like this. So it's right there. I bring this up a little bit. The L2 trunk is right here, going that way. And then it becomes a femoral nerve and here's the L4 femoral trunk right there, going down underneath the psoas. And the femoral nerve goes down, I can trace it to right where it goes under the inguinal ligament. And the inguinal ligament is right here. So to palpate that, I'll start down by the inguinal ligament. I'm gonna get medial to the femoral nerve, and then I'm gonna pull it I'm gonna sink in adjacent to it. So if this is the nerve, I'm coming in this way like this, and then I'll bow it up. And I'm also gonna bow underneath the psoas down. So he doesn't really like that being pulled up there. And I'm also exploring underneath the psoas too, cause you could have adhesions anywhere. Here's about L4. I'm sinking in adjacent to it. I'm pulling up, I'm going down this way. He's got some stuff right there. I keep moving up. I'm pulling up, I'm going down. And all in this area, I'm pulling up, I'm going down. Got some stuff in there too. 
the lateral side's a lot easier. You just sink into the space and just push down and you'll feel where the femoral nerve is stuck. So right here, where LFC end, there, there's the corner of the femoral nerve in LFC end. So if I sink into that space, I just feel pushback and adhesion, spider webbing in that area. Um, generally speaking, to treat this, you're gonna find your spot and you're going to put one hand over the other and you're gonna lean in this lunge position with my lats pec contracted to take your depth. Cause if you don't do that, you're gonna play the piano and it's gonna be on your fingers. My fingers are extremely arthritic. So I do this whole holding my dip move. So I'm sinking in with my sternum still. Thank you, Case. I'm sinking into where I feel pushback. I'm driving from my shoulder and my elbow and my pec. Go ahead. I'm supporting his low back. And now I'm just driving. My left pec shoulder tricep is engaged the whole time. Good. Thank you, guys. So that's softer. So lateral borders of the psoas, own that. Medial border of the psoas, own that. Trace the femoral nerve from L2 to L4. Super important to trace, because often if people don't trace them now, they will trace them six months or a year from now, and it will just provide a lot of value. You're gonna get on this side of the femoral nerve, and you're gonna bow it up, and especially by the trunks, you're gonna bow underneath the, towards the trunks. And on this side, you're gonna bow lateral, and then you're gonna find a spot, and then you're gonna treat.